My name is Doug Marshall. I am a co-founder of New Life and chairman of the, of the board. And we founded uh, New Life in October of 2013. Hi, I'm Richard. I'm the executive director of New Life. New Life works with over 100 agencies and they, they refer people who are moving out of homelessness. And so they help us verify the need. And then, uh, and then we work with them um, in the clients in order to provide the, the furniture and household goods to make a house a home. So New Life takes in gently used furniture and we give it to people in need. So people transitioning out of homelessness that have been in shelters, people that are escaping domestic violence situations, people who have suffered fires. Uh, we ensure that when they do get a new, ho uh, new place to live, uh, that it's fully furnished. New Life's mission is straightforward in terms of um, serving those who are moving out of homelessness and in, in need. And when we started this organization back in 2013, um, we, we felt like there was a need. And um, what we, we didn't realize how large of a need it was. And it was a need, you know, not only in terms of uh, people who are moving out of homelessness. But the other part is, is just the uh, you know, helping the environment. We, we, we really didn't understand how much excess um, furniture and household goods there are out, out in the market. And we're saving a tremendous amount from going into uh, transfer stations uh, in, in the area. And it really it allows us to repurpose those things uh, and uh, for people who, who can really uh, use them. And, and we're, we're getting the, we're getting it, uh, the inventory from people who are simply redecorating to people who are downsizing. Um, they're, they're moving loved ones um, to different facilities. Um, and we're also you know, making connections with furniture stores as well as colleges, universities, and, and, and hotels. So the, the, amount of, the amount of furniture and household goods out there, uh, there's a good amount. And we're just also really pleased to be able to you know, do something for the environment. And the end impact is that people get served. Uh, just last week, we were able to serve a, a large family and they were sharing a mattress between uh, only a few people. Uh, by the time we were able to serve, we actually were able to deliver furniture to them, which is a new area of growth for us. But when we left them, we left them with a bed each, blankets, linens, everything you need for a good night's sleep. And I think that that's what's so great about New Life is it's really a community effort in getting people back to being whole that have suffered a tragedy through, you know, fire, etc., or have lost their job through COVID and have now found themselves on hard time. We're able to make them whole, a house, a home, um, which is such a great uh, reward for, for, I think, everybody involved. COVID, the past year has been been a challenge for uh, for for everybody individually and, and certainly organizations. And and just I give a lot of kudos to Rich and, and uh, his team for really kind of thinking outside the box and uh, developing some really innovative ways to continue our mission. So New Life has been able to uh, quickly change uh, our operations uh, from an in person. Uh, to a vir completely virtual operation uh, in order to serve our clients. This happened relatively quickly within, you know, two weeks of almost a year ago. In two weeks of when we were actually shut, we were able to completely retool. We re were able to launch a, uh, an online store uh, as well as um, start to serve clients over the phone uh, through conference calls while they looked at our website. It's been tremendously successful. Um, and over the last year, we've been able to scale it up to a point where we're back to uh, serving the same amount of clients as we did prior to the pandemic. The silver lining in all of this, New Life has become much uh, more efficient, leaner, and is able to, once things do get back to normal, we're able to serve many more clients because of the ingenuity of the volunteers. Um, so it, it's great. I mean, this year we're set to serve 700 clients, which is actually more than the what we served the year before the pandemic started. So I think it's been a great response from our volunteers, from our supporters, our donors, 
uh, from everybody that kind of got behind a very loose idea to now it's uh, we're considering it that it's going to be part of New Life for many years to come. So New Life is hosting its fourth annual uh, 5K trail run. And it's going to be on Saturday, May 8th. You can uh, register uh, at our, through our website, which is www.newlifefb.org. And uh, this year, uh, we're going to, uh, hoping to have an in-person race. Uh, last year, it was, we had to go virtual, so we're hoping to be one of the first organizations to have an in-person race. But you also can do a virtual run if you prefer this year as well. If you decide to do it in person and the state opens up for in-person events, then we're going to do Staggered Start. So you can actually sign up for Staggered Start online and uh, it'll give you a time to be there. And then you'll run with a very small group. So it's, it's, uh, it, it's, so it's you know, we're making sure that we're, we're doing it safely from that perspective. Or if you choose, you can do it virtually if you want to just run the 5K uh, on the route that you choose. And, and supporting the organization. It's a trail run, so it's through the, on the Medfield Medical Grounds, through forest and, um, you know, part of it is more like a trail run, but there is also a concrete or pavement uh, gentle. Most people, some people do run, some people do walk, so it's for everybody. Our, our 5K trail run is, is an event that um, not only supports new life from from a monetary perspective but it's also we're trying to bring the community together and so we'll we'll, we'll have um, people coming out who are looking to uh, run and compete but we also have a lot of people who come out and just want to support the organization and they'll walk they'll bring their dogs they'll, they'll bring their, their young children as, as well so much more of a much much more of a, uh, a, lo a local and uh, event that's focused on you know, the supporting New Life. So New Life is a volunteer driven organization. We have a very small uh, staff and the majority of how we operate and get things done is through people volunteering their time on Saturdays throughout the week, virtually, in person. Um, there's an opportunity for everybody. Uh, our website is a great place for to find contact information, to sign up, to explore opportunities, as well as sign up to our newsletter to receive uh, monthly updates of what's going on at New Life. Volunteerism is, is, is the uh, lifeblood of our organization. Without our volunteers, um, we wouldn't have been able to you know, grow and support the number of families that uh, we've been able to. And there's just a tremendous amount of way to be involved. You can you know be involved in, in just um, regular sorting days or, or uh, receiving days on Saturday where we take in donations. But also there, there's a lot of things to do outside the organization uh, in terms of special projects or jobs that, that we, need, we need help with on a regular basis from you know, anything from um, database management to hosting clients virtually. So there's, there's an opportunity and a way to get involved for everybody. A lot of times we take these things for granted, uh, having, having a, a bed to, to sleep on, having a, a desk for one of our kids to do their homework at, um, having a kitchen table to have you know, dinner with your family at. Um, in a lot of cases, these, these things aren't possible. And so you know, it's really what we try to do is, is you know, cre create stability in people's lives by giving them these, uh, these things to help them you know, make, make a house a home. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram for updates on what's going on, as well as high need items that we are low on. Thank you.